friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And we are here today to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Today is Wednesday the 24th of November 2021, and it's the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm kind of wondering what everybody's doing. Maybe you are um, cooking. And so I'm not sure how many will be on today because I know there are people cooking. My husband bought us a pie at a really nice little bakery uh, here. And so no pie making. Um, so I don't have to cook today. And I'm just relaxing and doing a little Facebook Live. And I want to show you a little uh, gift that you can make for the holidays for some friends. Um, that might be a good stocking stuffer. So welcome. Just happy to have you today or on the replay, whichever it is, or over on YouTube. I know I have some YouTube people that watch me over there. Um, I hope you have time to make cards this weekend. That's one of the things I have planned to do is make some cards. Um, I'm not going to be here on Friday. I mean, I'll be here, but I'm not going to do a Facebook Live on Friday. I'm going to take off on Friday the 26th and um, just hang around with my family. So Ellie wants to snuggle, I think. Um, and let's see, two big specials happening that I want to tell you about. The two big specials. Um, the first one is that uh, to, I'm going to put Ellie down. She's wanting to get going. Um, the first big special is that I am offering free shipping for the Thanksgiving weekend for Black Friday starting tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day and running through Sunday the 28th. I'm going to offer free shipping for, for anything you order from my online shop. Hi Kay, hi Linda, good to see both of you. So anything in my online shop um, you have to use my special host code for this special sale. It's not through Stampin' Up! It's only through me. Thank you for sharing, Kay. This is just through me, free shipping, any order over $75. And the way we'll work that is that you will place the order online in my shop. And then I will see the order come up and I will email you and ask you how, would, how you would like your shipping charge refunded and I can write you a check and send it to you in the mail because I'll have your information from your order or I can um, send it to you via PayPal or I can send it to you via Venmo some people do that I like it it's really quick it's just a cash exchange no charge so free shipping starting tomorrow Thursday through Sunday all orders over $75 and you have to use my host code and this is a special host code just for this free shipping sale and you know uh, my husband and I were really cracking up because the host code is just assigned by a machine and it came out 3NA2DUMB D -U -M -B. we're just howling but I really can't change it it's it's the host code that the machine assigned so but anyway, you will not be dumb if you get free shipping. So I really encourage you to take advantage of my, free, of my free shipping offer over the next four days, special for my customers. I like to offer you um, just something special about this, about this time of year. And if you're going to spend $75, another choice you have, uh, rather than, no, Linda, it is funny, it really is, um, rather than free shipping through me, you could um, purchase the starter kit through Stampin' Up! and get free shipping that way and you'll get $125 worth of product instead of $75 and it all ships free. That is a fabulous deal and then um, you will be able to order every other product that you have that you want for 20% off. So that's the starter kit special and I'll mention those again at the end today because it's two really great things going on and the starter kit special ends on the 30th so that's only six days. So um, those are two great specials that I really wanted to bring to your attention. Okay so today we are going to make and I'm going to turn you down 
You may have seen these from someone else. It's not my own idea. It's not brand new. But we are going to make um, hand sanitizer boxes. And these are just so cute. Let me see. Let me try it one more time. Okay, there we go. These are little hand sanitizer boxes, and there are different ways to make them. I'm going to show you the way I make them today. Hey, Pam, good to see you. And we're going to make one, and I decided to try another, uh, another color combo for the one we're going to make today. This one is uh, pink, the actually Blushing Bride, and I'll show you the little hand sanitizer. It's amazing how they fit so perfectly. And I think this is cute because this one is called Twisted Peppermint Hand Sanitizer. And it looks just like the little box, doesn't it? And then we have Wishing You a Merry Christmas. This is um, a Granny Apple Green box. And you can see I've done just some different little things to decorate each box. And this one has, ooh, this is actually my favorite soap of all time. Thank you, Pam. This is Warm Vanilla Sugar. Yum, yum. And then this one, of course, you know how much I love my my black and white buffalo check. And this one I turned around. I was thinking, do you put the opening in the front? I did on the others, the little opening. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll try it in the back um, so that the front doesn't show the opening. And so let's see which one I put in here. Oh, I think I put another tw uh, pink twisted peppermint. They're so good. So let's get started and see how to make these cute little boxes. Now we're going to start, we're going to use some mint macaron today, um, our cardstock. And I just think it's such a pretty color, so I'm going to show you how to do it. And your piece of cardstock begins at eight and a quarter by three and three quarters. I think you're... What's that up at the top there? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's my picture. Okay. Um, eight and a quarter by three and three quarters is your piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to show you how to score it. You could use a scoreboard. Some of you have scoreboards. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! Paper Trimmer. I really like the way it, it works, the way it scores. So what we're going to do is, and we've got the two sides. I'm going to call them the short side and the long side, okay? So first what we're going to do is we're going to score the short side. And basically what we're going to do is score one inch here and one inch here. But if you're going by measurements, you would go one inch, two and three quarters, because the piece is three and three quarters. But I like to take the easy way out when it comes to math. So I'm going to score over here. And then I'm just going to turn it around and score one inch again. That make, to me, that is easy. That makes my mind um, be able to figure it out really quickly. Okay, so those are the two, those two score lines that come down from the short side. Now on the long side, we're going to score starting at three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna, I wanna get that just right. And I usually go back and forth a couple times on cardstock. On designer series paper, you don't want to because it could cut through, but the Cardstock is pretty thick, and so I go a few times with the score blade. So three quarters, and then we're going to go to one and three quarters. So we're going to add an inch. Then we're going to go to four and a half. This is really quick and easy. It really is. And then we're going to go to five and a half. So that's not bad. Very. In fact, I've made. I made one last night and I made two this morning already. They're easy and quick to make. So now we're just, what we're going to do is fold and burnish all of our score lines before we even start to work on it. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter which way you go, valleys or mountains, you, you do what feels best to you. Just go all, just be sure you fold them correctly up on the inside or the outside, right? Okay, so here we've got this fold. I'm just using my bone folder to burnish it really well so when it does fold up when we create the box, it, it has a real crisp fold. I like that. And then I have this one here. Hi, Diane. 
Happy Thanksgiving. Are you guys, well obviously you're not cooking right now, but let me know if you're, if you're planning on cooking any tonight or if you're cooking tomorrow. Let me know what you're doing. I, I just love you guys. I, I was um, telling somebody, I just, I love the little family that we have here, our little, um, our community. I just love it. I thank you all for popping on and uh, joining me on my Facebook Lives. I love it. Okay, so we've got all of our score lines burnished, and we've got them all um, scored and burnished. So now what we're going to do, I got a little, I made, this is my little handmade pattern for you guys. And I'm going to post this all on my blog, I uh, probably not tomorrow, but over the, over the four-day holiday. And so here's our long side, here's our short side, and then this is going to tell us what to do. We're going to cut off these edges, and we're going to trim in here. So I'm going to show you as we go along, and then I'll post that on my blog. So the first thing we're going to do is right in here, we're going to um, trim in. These are going to become little tabs. And most of you know how to do this. When you make a tab, you're just going to give a little angle there so that um, when you fold it up, it it folds nicely so those are you just give a trim those little sides there and so this is going to be the base of the box just cut right in there and trim Diane you're not cooking you're going it's going to be quiet yes here too um, but we are going to have um, we are going to have a nice dinner I'm I'm not cooking a pie or anything like that. I'm gonna make a, a, a cranberry relish. Okay, so then the, the side with a little three-quarter top fold, that is, your, that is going to be your folding lid. So what we wanna do is, oh boy, I hope I'm, yeah, I'm, I am doing this right. You can scare yourself on these, you know. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this part off just like this, cut both of these out because we don't need them. And then we can start gluing. Now, one thing I've noticed, I was going to use tear and tape and I tried it, and then I made a mistake and had to take my box apart and it came apart really easy with tear and tape. Well, that upset me because I thought, I don't want my box, it was good for that particular purpose, but I don't want my box to have any chance of coming apart. And it could have been, we've had such dry weather here. It could have been that, but when I use my multi-purpose glue, it holds. And I've got a little, I'm gonna pull off a little bit of extra up at the top there. So I am going to recommend that you use multi-purpose glue. So what we're gonna do here, fold our top back, and we're gonna put the sides in like this. Let me see if you can see it, okay? The little tabs are gonna go in. Now you could put them in between, because then this is going to happen where it's going to all fold up, but personally, I like to put them on the inside. I feel like it's a lot stronger if you put them on the inside, and then those are on the inside, and the rest of this piece is on the outside. I hope that makes sense. Linda, Brady, both of our grown kids are doing other things, so we're going to have Thanksgiving with our neighbors. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds very nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to put some glue on both of these. Let's see. Tuck them in. I have to remember how I'm doing it. And I'm going to put some glue on both of these tabs. And then we just pull up the back. And this is the best way to do it if you flatten it to the to the um, to your table, because that'll help it come out real nice and even. And then. You know how our multi-purpose glue is. You just hold it for a few minutes until it sets up. But we do want it to set up nicely. And let me show you inside there. So can you see how the, how the little tabs are inside? I'm gonna try to get it so you can see it. And if you, if you make sure that you kind of press down toward your surface, then it's gonna get nice and flat and it'll be right where we want it to be. Okay, and now we're just going to put the front up, and it doesn't take a lot of glue, but just a little bit around the edges, and I'm telling you, this stuff holds. I just love my multi-purpose glue. So again, making sure that you are um, 
pressing it to the base and then what I've been doing is I look at each side individually as I do it. I look really carefully to make sure that it's coming up even here, it's even there. And let's go over to this side. Push in a little bit and then we're just going to let it set for a few minutes. And then what I like to do is take my bone folder and because this is an inch measurement and your bone folder is an inch, you can just slide that bone folder right in there and you've got the tab down further and you can just press that down to make sure the whole thing is adhering really well in there. And truthfully, that's about it. Now, you want to put a little, um, a little kind of a circle or a, a swoop right in there so that you can grab your, your little lid to pull it up, right? Um, right now, we don't have any, Stampin' Up! has circle dies, but no circle punches. I can't even believe that. And so I pulled out just an old retired oval punch. I don't even know the name, but I like it because it fits right inside the box. And then can you see how I'm doing that right there? Just have it come in about a third of the way and just punch that little baby out, just like that. And so there you have your little scoop and your, your lid will fit right in there. And let's have it come out a bit. And then when you're ready to take it, to open it, when your recipient opens it, they just pull it right there. It really works out nicely. So there is your box, and I'll show you that um, we'll use the winterberry ice, and that fits in absolutely perfectly. I can't believe how cute that is. And then that's your base. All you do from that point on is decorate it. So why don't we do a little decorating? Um, I want to see, what did I have in mind for this? I forgot to even pull anything out. Oh, yes. Well, the first, what we're doing here with this one is, with all of these, I've been using the Frosted Gingerbread stamp set. I know I need to add a few more um, decorations, but I've got some here. Whoops. Um, and one reason I wanted to use this is because I've cut out the peppermints. I'm really nutty about these peppermints in the gingerbread paper, the DSP, and it's called Gingerbread Designer Series Paper. It's six by six. And it's not all this, there, there are maybe, I think, four of these sheets. But I just, I love the peppermint part. And one of the dies in this set, can you see that? It has three different circles, and it, it's made to fit right on here. So this die will cut out, look at that, can you believe that? It'll cut out the paper. Hi Pam, um, have I said hi to everybody? Um, so this die cuts out the designer series paper three peppermint candies at a time. I just think it's cr crazy cute, I love it. And this is the whole gingerbread die set over here. And there's, you know, there's stamps. You can stamp your own peppermints too. But I really like this particular die because it just cuts three out of the sheet right at the same time. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and done that because I wanted us to spend more of our time just having fun and decorating. And our sentiment we're going to use, because I like the peppermints, I really like this sentiment. Sending you peppermint kisses. And I think that's so cute, especially if we're going to have um, like this this one antibacterial uh, little thing is twisted peppermint. So sending you peppermint kisses to me is just cuter than cute. Here is a, just a scrap of basic white and we're going to stamp it with that sentiment that I mentioned in real red ink. I think red and uh, mint macaron go great together. I think they're little going to look fabulous and I'm just wanting to make boxes of all different color combos just for fun. So I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to put my peppermint kisses stamp right there. It's a good stamp. It's one that makes a good impression. Um, it's easy to use. I like that stamp. And then I'm going to punch it out with the Label Me Fancy Punch. This is a punch day. I like punch days. And with this punch, all you have to do is slip your sentiment right in there. It fits really, really perfectly. Oops, there goes my little map. Let's get that back up there. Okay, so.
So we're going to put that right, center that right in there nice and evenly and punch that sentiment out. And there we go, sending you peppermint kisses. Now all we have to do is just do a little decorating. And let's plan it out. That's what I like to do is plan out my decorating. And I've got all my little peppermints already cut out. And I also am bringing in um, a little tree from the Whimsical Trees dies. I just think those dies are so cute. And I thought it'd be cute to add a little die tree. And so <laughs> those little guys don't want to stay on there, do they? So we can just kind of decorate that real cute and put some more of these little peppermints on. You know, we might put them in threes. They, they usually like us to do threes. And then the one thing I didn't get is a ribbon. And, oh, I know what I was going to do. I forgot this part. Ugh, I'm telling you. My little, my little mind. Um, where did I have some? What I had done with the others is I made a belly band. I think I'm just too excited about Thanksgiving. That's it. I made a little belly band. And let's make one this time out of um, this paper, another one of the papers from the Gingerbread Designer Series paper. And our belly band is going to be, I completely forgot about the belly band. What is the matter with me? Two by six. Okay. So here is a, and we know that these are six by six inch squares, right? So here's a two by six belly band. I kept thinking, what is missing there? The nice thing about a belly band is that, and let's see, maybe we should put it, eh, we'll go this way, is that you can slip this off, the decorations will come off, and yet the person can still, or stay on, and the person can still access their gift, but the box remains cute. I always like that, because I don't like to have, have someone tear up the pretty box that I made them just to get the gift. So with the belly bands, I am not really super particular about these. I just hold them out there and wrap them around and just fold them with my own fingers. You know, I could measure it out and score it, but you know, I'm just not crazy about math. That's all there is to it. And this works just as well. Nobody even knows that you don't have exact measurements or anything. And it's just really easy. You just kind of pinch the edges just like this. And then what I do is I come back and use my bone folder and I fold at each fold that I had already made, I make sure that it's even on the left and the right side because otherwise it could come out, your belly band could come out really crooked. So I've already created my folds manually and then, or my, my um, score lines. I kind of did that by hand. And then I just go back in and burnish it with my bone folder and then your belly band will, will really look nice and neat. And if you're lining it up on each one of these edges, that's how you're gonna get a real pretty belly band. Whenever I've tried to do it with math, you know, I'm always off by like an eighth of an inch or something, and I don't really like that. So here we go. Now look how nicely that fits, really nicely, right there. And then on our back, all we're going to do is again use our glue and we're going to adhere our belly band. So I'm just going to put just a thin strip of my glue right down here, like that, and then hold it over, making sure that these edges all uh, come out the same. I see that a little bit of glue is coming out of there. We're just going to give it a minute to adhere. Isn't that cute? I think the red goes really well with the mint macaron. Mint macaron's been one of my favorite colors ever since it came out. I don't know about you guys, but I really like it. So now this is what I was missing. I've been making so many of them this morning, I kind of forgot what I was doing. <laughs> so here is our little sentiment, and here's our cute little tree from the Whimsical Trees. You know, Truthfully, what I do is, I think I've told you before, I have a little um, box in my drawer and I throw extras in that box. And so when I was make, going to make this today, I went in that box and I grabbed out a few of these little extra things. And it just turned out really cute. So that's what I'm gonna do right there. I'm gonna use my 
dimensionals to adhere, first of all, my sentiment. And then I'm going to build from there with all the other little decorations. And we're going to put a ribbon on it. We're going to put some a real red ruffled ribbon. Okay. So we want to do that at a little angle. I think it's kind of cute at an angle. And we're going to put our little tree in. Get that little guy. And I was thinking I wanted it to go through. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah, that'll work. Kind of just like that. Let's see. You have to work with these things when they're so tiny like this. I think I'm just going to actually glue him right on there. Thank you, Pam, for sharing. So we'll just put a dot or two of glue right in there and press down our little tree. It's cute when it hangs over just a little bit and they can see that it's a tree. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my bow first before I decide where all my little peppermint candies are going to go because I want, to, I want them to be able to be seen really well. So let's make a quick little bow and we're going to adhere it with uh, glue dots, just some mini glue dots. And do you see how you can, you can just use any, any colors that you have around that you like. You can use extra little bits and pieces that you have around. Um, once you know the basis, once you know the basic, how to make the basic box. Let me see, let me bring that back through here then you can just decorate it to your heart's content. Now I am going to meet, um, on Saturday, I'm going to meet two of my dear friends from college at a little restaurant, um, and we're going to catch up, and we're, both, we're all three really excited to do that. So I thought this would be a really cute little, little gift to take to them. Don't you think it would be cute? Diane, you like this combination. Thank you. So I think they'll like this, and it's just a, you know, it's just a small little cute thing to take. Um, it's not overboard, but it just says, I'm thinking about you, I'm remembering you, and um, they can go home with this cute little box. Okay, so now I'm going to put some mini glue dots on the back of my bow, and I'm going to put several because I want to adhere it both at the knot area and also on each the back of each loop there to make sure it stays. Let me get one more here. <laughs> it's trying to grab me back. <laughs> okay, here we go. So maybe you can think while you're watching, you can think of some friends that might really like to have one of these from you. And you know, truthfully, you can give them to all kinds of people around the holidays. Um, you can give them to service people. You could give them to um, just everybody. Chil well, children, I think, need children need um, hand sanitizer just as much as any of us. So I think it's really just a cute little gift. And those hand sanitizers aren't too much money. Okay, now let's get let me get one that's real. Some of my, sometimes I didn't cut them out really just perfectly with my die. I might have moved. So I'm going to get that one. I think that would be is a cute large peppermint candy. Let's put that one on. I just think they add so much, these peppermint candies. Cute on there, little guy. Okay, and let's see if we might not want to have another one somewhere. Um, I thought I had another little tiny one. Here it is. We might put another one. Let's see. Maybe down there with just a dot of glue. It's really fun to just um, just keep playing, you know. Just just oh, where do I want that? And just decorate it to your heart's content. Let me see if I can get some. Little, there's my little dot of glue. And where did my little guy go now? Every time I turn around, he disappears. Well, we'll use a bigger one, I think, and scoot him up in there. Okay. And now we'll get the little tiny one back. And let's see, we might put this guy right up in there with some glue. I mean, you could just have these in a little basket in your car when you're going around during the holidays. I'm actually going to use my scissors very gently to put this on. And you could have just a little basket filled with these and pass them out. 
there. All done. And let's be sure to get our our twisted peppermint hand sanitizer inside there as our little gift. Isn't that just kind of cute? I really like these. Now, where did I put all the rest of them? Here they are. Let's just look at them all laid out. So you can do all kinds of things. You can do anything you want to do to make these. Any color combinations, any, um, any, any decorations, whatever you have and whatever you like. Like this one, lately I'm really loving red and pink. Of course, you know I love pink anyway, so I did that. And I think they're just, they're just super cute. And I hope you enjoy having that pattern. I will post it on my blog probably uh, Friday. And so you'll be able to have the pattern. But again, it's easy. It's, um, and in fact, you know what? I'll post it as a comment for you after, we hang, after we're done with the Facebook Live. Because you might like to make some of these over the weekend for your different friends and stuff. Aren't they? They're cute. Now, just a reminder that I am offering free shipping over the over the Black Friday weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, free shipping with every order of $75 or more, and you have to use my special host code, and it's my funny host code that says 3NA2DUMB. My husband and I got a big kick out of it. Um, the machine just poked pops these out, so I don't know why it came out like that, but use that host code, it's also up above, for your order of $75 or more, and you will have free shipping on your products, and what could you want more than free shipping? Email me to find out how you'd like to do it, whether you'd like me to send you a refund check after you order online. Um, I can pay you the refund via PayPal or Venmo, or if you prefer, Email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com. I'll put the order in for you, and I will pay the shipping right at that time. So any of those ways, I would love for you to take advantage of my free shipping offer. It's something I like to do for my customers because I so appreciate all of you, and I like to do it over the Black Friday weekend. So have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, eat lots of good food. I'm going to be eating a lot of pie. And I hope you have a chance to make some of these little hand sanitizer boxes. I think they're cute. Oh, and no uh, Facebook Live on Friday. I'm going to take that day off. Um, but I mean, I'll be around in town and everything. But I'm just going to take it off from doing a Facebook Live because it's the holiday. So I'll see you back here a week from today. Okay, thank you all. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.